Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to start a new series, and it's going to be a series about creating a theme for your site, uh, and it's going to be using things like SAS. Um, so I'll show you how to integrate SAS into your Drupal installation, um, and if you don't want to use SAS, you can just use CSS. It's fine. Um, I'll show you how to incorporate things like CoffeeScript, um, and really you're just going to be building a theme from sort of scratch, uh, but it's going to be um, completely responsive, um, so it'll look great on mobile sites. It's going to um, basically give you the tools you need to create a theme uh, pretty much to whatever your heart desires. And we're going to be using uh, Omega as a base theme. And what base themes do is they often provide a set of uh, tools or a set of parameters that you would have in place um, for a theme that you wouldn't want to redo every single time. There's several other base themes. If we look at DrupalProject.org um, themes, you'll see that the first one is Zen, which is a theme a lot of people use for as a, a base theme as well. And you can see uh, that the latest version of Zen now uses HTML5. It's responsive, has mobile first, uh, integrate SAS and Compass, and uh, the very second most downloaded one is Omega. There's also Adaptive Theme. Um, if we keep going down, there's Fusion. And then now we get to these. These are some sort of themes that aren't really being used as base themes, like uh, Marinelli and Danlin. These are sort of uh, a theme that you would install because you like the way it looks and maybe you want to tweak it or something. But I would always pretty much recommend starting off with um, some sort of blank slate theme. And when you install Omega, it's really just going to give you a blank website, but what it's going to give you is tools. So if we go to my website here, uh, some of these tools is like this debug here. So uh, we click this grid button, it's gonna show you the grid uh, that the site is built on. And this uses the 960 grid, however you can tweak it however you'd like. Um, and then if we click this blocks, it's not gonna show you all the different block areas you can have. Uh, some mine are tweaked a little bit, but uh, in Omega, there's an interface to going and setting the width and the position and what these blocks all are so that you can have complete control. And you click this button, you can see where everything is. It gets you a little bit more of an idea of how this site's working out. And now if I inspect this, you'll see something when I move this, you'll watch this grid adjust. So it's going to resize at the uh, media queries. So these breakpoints are going to be how the site resizes for different devices. Um, mine's not doing a whole ton of craziness other than maybe shrinking in size a little bit. But once we take it to the mobile, it, it changes quite a bit. Um, let me turn off some of this debugging stuff. And so this is what the mobile site looks like uh, if you're coming to it at anything narrower than um, whatever. I think it might be 480 or something. I, I'm not exactly positive offhand. Um, but so. These, these are the sort of things that Omega makes really easily uh, possible. And what you want to do in these sort of situations, we're going to be building with the mobile first philosophy, and you're going to be creating the theme for your mobile style sheet first, and then we'll move into how you can tweak it for the next size up, the next size up, and you can have as many breakpoints as you want. So if you're interested in learning how to build a mobile site in Drupal using Omega as a base theme, uh, please continue in the next video. We're going to get started by installing Omega, and I'll show you how to make a sub theme, okay? As always, if you have any questions, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.